Mamsel Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? Oh, just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called Jean-Marc, who runs a patisserie in Le Touquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Hello, could I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. It's late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows and that's what I'm doing. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. The heroes who pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best smile and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. Uh, just give me a minute to do my hair. I'm afraid you can't go in there, madame. Okay, okay. Hello? Yes? I need to take some more pictures. Of course. My pleasure. Just give me a moment. The police had removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. Oops, stupid thing. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. Behind the table were some damaged pipes. Voila! The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind of pouch. On the pouch 
was the cross symbol of Cochon's organization, I was on the right track. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Cochon's organization. Inside the pouch were two items, a strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. The artifact had a sword laid across scales, the scales of justice. I wondered if this connected to the room at the quayside. Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon.
Clantard. Pierre Kiel. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. And for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story. Whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. Hey, what about my photos? Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Camera? Oh, I forgot. It broke. Hello. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman had fooled him easily enough. And found the evidence the police had missed. The strange metal artifact I found in Plantard's pouch had pointed back to the quayside. slot next to the safe door. All I had to do was find something to fit into it. It was like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. A door like that always has something important behind it. I had to find a way to unlock it. Plantard's key fitted the lock, so he must have used this place too. A photograph had been torn up. If I could just arrange the pieces... There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. Papa. Oh, God. A 
After what I'd gone through, I thought I could face anything, but not this. My father, the one person in the whole world who I truly admired, standing with Cachon while those murderers carried on with their evil work. My father, grinning at the camera. I couldn't believe it. I realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story and that I really needed George. 